welcome to day 10. Now you're gonna be seeing two videos from two days. Yesterday uh, I had a god awful day even though I did do some filming yesterday. Uh, my day was about 16 hours of driving and dealing with uh, issues. So no video yesterday. You know sometimes you just gotta take that day off and yesterday was my day off. Today uh, I'm gonna be showing you some uh, video clips from yesterday and then we are going to talk a little bit about uh, what's happening with me. Uh, I'm going to be heading to Sweden. Uh, actually, I'm going to be heading to Copenhagen, Copenhagen, and then I will be going over to Malmo uh, to do some work over there. So for the next couple days, uh, I'm going to be at a very cool place. I've been told it's very beautiful there, especially in the springtime or fall time. So that'll be fun. Uh, and then I'll be back in the UK. And then guess what? I'm back to the States. I'm going to be heading to New Orleans for a wedding, uh, and I'm really excited about it. So uh, big tips today. Uh, excited. Italian's been going great. I'm actually on uh, a, a, a pretty good roll on the Italian kick. I've been doing about uh, an hour a day. I even did it last night when I was really, really tired. Uh, I don't know how much information I sucked in. Uh, but that's, you know, it's going pretty well. Uh, crunches and walking. Walking I've been able to do a lot of. Uh, the crunches uh, I only do like, I've only been doing the morning set. I haven't been doing the evening set. And push-ups I've had to kind of be able to put aside and all my other stretching uh, that I usually do I had to put aside just because it's been become really busy around here uh, I'm doing like 15 16 hour days um, it's now I think it's like I don't even know what time it is but I've been up since 5 this morning and I probably got another three or four hours worth of work before I, I shut down so hopefully I'll get this video up tonight and you can watch some of the stuff that I did yesterday sorry Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a little bit after 8 o'clock. I'm on the road. I've been on the road since about 7 this morning, uh, driving a little past Cardiff. I can't even pronounce the name of the city that I'm actually going into. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be going to an installation, so I had to get up really early. It is a Sunday. Eh, not the best to work on a Sunday. And if you notice anything, notice anything about driving, maybe I'm on the right side of the road. Well, I'm on the left side, but I'm driving on the right. Yep, uh, I am in jolly old England, and I am driving on uh, the opposite side of the road, as we uh, U.S. people say. Uh, people ask me if it's different. I, I don't think it's been too different. Uh, of course, now the karmic hand of fate will come down and something will happen to me. I've had a couple minor mishaps, mostly driving in the city. The roads are kind of narrow around here, so um, kind of misjudging uh, space and such. I've dinged a few cars, uh, so uh, it's a little bit different. Parking is atrocious. Uh, they try to pack in as many people into the small spots as possible, and it's very expensive. So having a car over here is probably not the most efficient way to do things. Um, wanted to talk about another experience, a uh, cultural experience. Uh, yesterday I was flying from Belgium, as we were talking about, and while I was uh, waiting for the plane, um, there are a bunch of uh, uh, African, I think it was Nigerian. Uh, I tried to talk to them, uh, but mostly they spoke uh, kind of a, 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 a French, some French, uh, but it was not, it was a dialect that I wasn't really picking up on too well. Uh, and it was weird because all the men sat, you know, on the far end, and all their wives were like on the other end with their kids. And I was just like, you know, and some of the kids were, you know, not behaving too well. And, you know, of course, the, you know, the mothers were there and there were multiple kids. Um, and I just wondered, well, you know, why isn't the father stepping in? And then I thought, well, you know, that's pretty ignorant of me to try to put my labels, uh, my, my society labels on someone who has been brought up a different way. Um, and that's, that's kind of why, you know, I'm, you know, when Chaitanya ends, that's one of the things I want to focus on is showing people different uh, communities, different cultures so that we see that you know basically we're, we're the same there are differences but to learn about those differences really makes us better people um, I got frustrated with them uh, we got on the plane and it took forever uh, to get you know this one woman had four kids all under the ages of, of six and she was trying to juggle them and put them in seats and the husband had his headphones on just not paying attention um, and to me, that frustrated me, but I was reminded uh, by a really nice young lady that I sat by that that's their culture. The, you know, the woman takes care of the children, 
the man takes care of bringing in, you know, income and taking care of business. And that's how it works. I mean, that's how their world is. Whether you think that is unjust or not, that's their world. And that's how their society, is, you know, is, lives. Um, you can like it or not. That means you just don't go to where they are. I mean, that's the simple fact. Uh, would we like to change everybody? Yes. Is it something that we should do? I, I don't know. I mean, you know, she seemed happy and she didn't seem like she was complaining. Uh, but, of course, that could be part of her culture, too, that she, she can't complain about it. Uh, but in the long run, I think experiencing other cultures uh, is going to be, make me a better person, a little bit more tolerant as well. Um, I, you know, we all know we get annoyed with the people who can't control their children. Especially people who don't have children get very annoyed with it. Uh, I taught school for five or six years, and uh, I, I learned tolerance because of that. I understand what it is to, to raise children and to deal with children, especially children who are troubled or emotionally disturbed or, you know, have attention deficit disorder. I mean, those are the kids I work with. Okay, well, um, I, I stayed on track today. Was not able to do Italian. I'll do that later on tonight. As I said, I've got about a three-hour drive down, a three-hour drive back, plus a three-hour installation. So for nine hours, I'm pretty much either stuck in a car or doing work. I'll talk to you later. Well, uh, it did not go as I planned today. Uh, the work that we had to do uh, took way too much longer. Uh, there were some issues, so I don't talk about work uh, on these vlogs. Uh, so, I did not get to go into City Center Cardiff, and I did not get to see the location where Torchwood was uh, kind of based out of. Uh, I will get at some point to Cardiff and, and hang out. Uh, it's kind of weird. We talked about cultures earlier this morning, and uh, one of the things that I that was kind of it was strange. I mean, I've been over to Ireland, and I know they've got Gaelic all over the place, uh, but they had I think it was Gaelic uh, in Wales. It's all over the place. It's like a it's like a primary language. Uh, in fact, I was in a store, and one of the store associates was actually speaking Gaelic. Uh, I think it was Gaelic to some to a customer. Uh, I found that extremely strange that, you know, here we are in the UK uh, and people have a different language right in, in the UK. Um, I guess I never thought about it, you know, I thought, you know, everybody over here speaks English, but they do have old languages, uh, and those languages are starting to come back. Uh, you know, people want to find their heritage and celebrate in their heritage, uh, and I get that. And again, sometimes we have to be patient and understanding that our, their their society rules and what they do are going to be different than ours. Uh, and while, you know, lifestyle is not much different, I mean, heck, you know, people buy iPads here just like they buy iPad pads in the United States. They buy the same type of phones, though I have noticed that a lot less people carry iPhones over here in Europe, uh, which I'm not going to say anything. Um, and a lot more people carry Samsung phones and Samsung products. Than i than i products which is kind of weird the opposite of the u.s but for the most part you know there's mcdonald's there are burger kings over here there's kfc over here i mean you know they have all the luxuries that we have they just sometimes do things a little different they have their own little tweaks to how things are and we see that go from the north to the south go from east to west you'll see people doing different things um Part of our, my goal was to learn Italian, and again, one of the reasons why I want to learn Italian is I, I live and work in Europe, uh, but it's also because I want to learn about other cultures. I, that makes me a better person, ultimately, uh, to understand another culture and understand why they do things. Uh, to me, Italian uh, it was one of the f first choices because I tend to go there a lot, but I also love it. It's a very beautiful uh, country, uh, and I have loved going there. So if you get a chance, learn a language. Uh, if you get a chance, travel. Uh, and if you want to know where to travel, just hit me up. You know, it's not that I've traveled all over the place, but I've definitely found some interesting places. 
my job uh, because it takes me sometimes off the beaten path and not in the main cities. Uh, and sometimes in the main cities, but most of the time it's off the beaten path. I find all the little treasure troves out there. So we'll talk later on, and uh, hopefully your day is going well.